Mr. Campos. Hello, how are you? The microphone, Rolando. The microphone. <laughs> Relax, thank you. <laughs> Relax, as always, right? Like always. I, di I didn't work today. Oh, my goodness. Congratulations, Mr. Campos. <laughs> It, okay. is a whole, it is a holiday in San Luis Talpa. Oh, nice. Congratulations. Free. Free. Friday, <laughs> free, sa Friday Saturday, Sunday. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Francisco. Hello, Francisco. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. It's a pleasure. Well, not to see you, to hear, to listen to you, right? <laughs> oh, okay, teacher. It's, okay. It's, it's a pleasure too. Okay, it's a pleasure, yes. Yeah. But you can see me, right, Francisco? Oh, yes, I see, oh, okay. teacher. Okay, good, excellent, yes, right? I, 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 yes. Okay, now, we're going to start, we're, we're going to start with the, with the class and I will share the platform and we're going to review one exercise. Let me see. Here we are. Okay, uh, it's the conversation. I'm a real fitness freak, says, right? I'm a crazy, I'm crazy about fitness, says, right? So let's watch the conversation again for, for a second time. Pay attention. Great shape, Keith. Thanks. In this class, you will listen and follow a conversation about physical skills. Hi everyone, are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time, we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week. And I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Good. Now let's practice and repeat, please. Listen and repeat. Are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time, we will learn to ask questions using how. Repeat. Listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week. And I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right. But I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, let's practice the conversation one more time, right? Uh, um, Rolando, you're Keith. Claudia Castro, you are Ruth, right? Okay, let's practice the conversation practice again. The right? conversation. Come on. You are in great shape, Keith. Do I... mm -hmm. That's, I guess. 
I am real Finnish friend. How often do you work? Do you work with? Well, I do aerobic twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? What sound like a lot a lot of fun? Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh well what how well do you play? Pretty well. I was well I right but but I'm not very good. No problem. I give you a a few tips. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Now listen and repeat this this part, right? Great shape. Great shape. Fitness freak. Workout. Workout. Aerobics. Aerobics. Sounds like a lot of fun. Sounds like a lot of fun. I guess. Few tips. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Francisco and Claudia Ramos are going to practice the conversation. Francisco, ready? Your Keith and Claudia Ramos, okay. you are Ruth. One, two, three. Cheering great ship. Cheering great ship, Kate. Thanks. I guess a really fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, I'm right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I give you a few tips. Okay, okay, very good. I like it. The last practice, the last practice. Let me see. Let me see who is going to help me right now. Uh, Hilda, please. And your Ruth for the last time, right? And Adonai Portillo, please, your okay, Keith, teacher. right? Here we go. Okay, teacher. I am uh, Ruth, teacher. Yes, please. Okay. You are, you are in great shape, Kate. Thanks. I guess I am a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do exercise twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I will give you a few tips. Okay. Okie dokie, thank you very much. Come on, good. Good practice, right? Congratulations. Now, uh, this was the conversation. Now we're going to start with uh, the, the topic for today. Uh, I have, let me see. I have a presentation in PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. Let me see. It says module one, but it's module two, right? Okay, good. It's ready. Now, let's watch the presentation. This is the topic for today, ladies and gentlemen. Questions with how. This is the topic for today. Question with how and short answer, right? Also, we're going to practice uh, an exercise, health and fitness quiz. We are going to make you questions about uh, how, uh, how fit you are, uh, how is your health, what are your customs, do you exercise, do you eat well, etc., etc. right? So we're going to learn about that. And uh, now let me read the, the lesson objective, right? 
Let me see who's going to help me. Josue, Josue Rosales, please. Can you read the objective for today, please? Josue, hello. 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 Can you read the objective for today, Josue, please? Okay, good evening. Good evening. In this section, Welcome. participants will watch and study question with how. Only question with how today, right? Only question with how. Good. Uh, give me a second. I will copy the name of Abel because I, I don't have your name today, Abel. Este, Abel, hasta ahora se pudo conectar, ¿verdad? O estuvo, o estuvo eh, con, con nosotros ayer. No, estuve en el miércoles, pero solo un rato. Un dice. ratito, ¿verdad? Que sí. sí, sí un ratito. No, no me recuerdo que me haya participado mucho, porque yo sé que usted participa bastante. <laughs> okay. yes, teacher, sorry. Abel Iraeta, ok. Good. Eh, a quien no veo es Alicia. Alicia siempre nos apoya. Ni, ni Ana María tampoco, no la veo. Ok. Eh, Rolando. Hola, Rolando. Hi, teacher. ¿Qué sabe de Alicia? No, ya hay tres clases y no se ha conectado, ¿verdad? No, teacher. I es don't saber, know. ¿verdad? No, ok. Este, no. No, no. Teacher, de Alicia Colorado. Sí, sí. Ah, creo que la cambiaron de... De grupo. ¿Cómo se llama? Sí, de grupo, pero de... Ah. De, quién, de quién les imparte las clases. Ah, bueno, qué lástima, bueno. Ni modo, ¿verdad? Ya no va a estar con nosotros en el grupo, pero... Es que ella siempre nos apoyaba con todo, pero... Aquí tenemos a Rolando, ¿verdad? También que nos echa la mano. <risa> ok, thank you. Now, so, uh, let's start with the class, right? No, no. Listen, let's start with this question. How? How shows manner, right? How shows manner? So, uh, in this case, for example, you say... How far is it to your house? How far is the supermarket, for example, to your house? In this case, you use the word how plus adjective, right? In this case, uh, asking about the quantity, right? Of the adjective, right? In this case, we're asking about distance. Mm -hmm. So the adjective in this case, far indicates distance. Right? So you can answer the next example, right? How far is it to your house? Is it five miles? Is it a mile and a half? It is, sorry, it is. It is a kilometer. It is five kilometers, etc., etc., right? Okay, now let's start making questions, right? Uh, let's start with Lorena. Lorena, how far is the church? to your house. How far is the church to your house, Lorena? Good evening. Sí, sí, a, a lo lejos, pero le escuchamos. No problem, no hay problema. Sabemos que estaba lloviendo y el tráfico estaba pesado, así que entendemos, no se preocupe, Lorena. Ok. Eh, nos da un ejemplo este, Lorena listen how far is the church la iglesia right how far is the church to your house mile ok good evening two miles two mi good evening my good evening no, but uh, my, sorry, we're saying miles, millas, right, in English. Okay. Oh. <laughs> sorry. sorry. No problem, my. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Lorena. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, let me see. Brenda, now, how far is the supermarket to your house, Brenda? Um, it's a... Uh... One mile? It is one mile, right? Like about, yes. a, about a kilometer and a half, right? Or kilometer and a half, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okie dokie. Now, Vicky. Hello, Vicky. Uh, how far oh, is... 
Vicky, how far is the, the commercial center? I don't know, Metro Centro, oh. La Cascada, or, uh, how far is the commercial center to your house, Vicky? Mm, two miles con, with Plaza, Plaza Mundo. Plaza Mundo. It is, listen, mm -hmm. it is? It is, it is two, two miles. Two miles. Dos mía, right? Mm -hmm. Two miles. Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Now, next question. How big is your room? This question is asking, uh, asking you how much is the space? How much space it has, right? So we're, we're talking about the space in your room. You can answer like this, right? It's huge. It's 200 square feet. It's really tiny, chiquitito, right? It's not much bigger than a bathtub. No es tan grande, no es más grande que una bañera, right? I mean, it's not true. It's, claro que está hablando en sentido figurado, pero para que se den una idea, ¿sabes? Okay, good. Now, uh, let me see, Rodrigo. How big is your house, Rodrigo? It's, it's, uh, it's more or less, it's no, it's it's no the, small. It's the average, the average. Yeah, it's the average. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the average. Uh, Rodrigo, I cannot ask you exactly the, the uh, 200 square feet or, or okay. 200 meters. I don't because I imagine you don't know, but it's enough to tell me it's the average. The average is it, the average, more or less 200 okay. square feet. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, Rodrigo. Okay. Now, Abel, how big is your house? No, no, no. Let me see. Let me ask. Uh, Abel, do you work in a company, right, Abel? Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good. So, how big is your office, Abel? Uh, it's uh, really tiny. It's really tiny. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay, good. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a cubicle. <laughs> a cubicle. Cubicle. Cu uh, oh, cubicle. Nice. oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Now, here we have uh, more examples. Look. Let's talk about here the condition of the food, right? Let me see. Adonai, please. This question is for you. Listen. How spicy is the food at that restaurant? You could answer this way. It's really spicy. It's not very spicy, you know, uh, condimentada, right? So, mm -hmm. Adonai, uh, are you a chef, Adonai? Can you cook? Yes, I can. Oh, nice. So, how spicy is the food you cook, Adonai? It's not, uh, it's not very spicy. It's not very spicy. Okay, good. Nice. So, talking about this, Adonai, what is your specialty? Uh, I like the Chinese food. Chinese food, nice. Yes. So, you can cook Chinese food? Yeah. Yes, chow mein. Chow mein, okay. Okay, we have to be careful with the cats around your navel, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's just a, it's just a... How the cats you, and the dogs. The cats and the dog, right? Uh, yeah. Leyenda urbana, right? It's a urban legend, urban legend only. <laughs> About the Chinese people. Uh-huh, yes. They say they, they eat the cats and the dog, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Thank you, Donai. Now, let me see. Claudia Ramos, listen. Uh, you can ask the same type of question with an adverb. Listen, with adverbs, we were talking about uh, adjective, right? We were saying, for example, uh, far, be, spicy, right? And now we're going to use an adverb. Ahora vamos a usar un adverbio. Quickly. Quickly is an adverb, right? So pay attention, Claudia. It says, how quickly do you learn new vocabulary words? Con qué rapidez aprenden nuevas palabras. So listen, I learn very quickly. I don't learn them very quickly. In your case, Claudia, how quickly do you learn new vocabulary words, Claudia? I don't learn them very quickly. Excellent. I like that. Very good. Good. Now, um, uh, let me see, uh, Francisco, Francisco, 
How quickly do you learn grammar, English grammar, Francisco? I don't learn them oh. very quickly. <laughs> okay. So grammar is difficult, right? Yes, it's difficult, yes. but I learn. <laughs> okay, th that's it. Thank you, thank you. Now, yes. Juan Alfonso, how quickly do you learn new vocabulary? No, 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 new vocabulary, no. Um, let me see. New verbs, new verbs. In English, of course, right? how quickly? Juan Alfonso? Hello, hello, Juan Alfonso. Bueno, vamos entonces con, con Claudia Castro. How quickly do you learn new verbs, Claudia Castro? Um, nuevo verbo, right, Claudia? New, nuevo verbo, ajá. Uh -huh. eh, I learn very quickly. Excellent. I like that. I like that. Right? Okay. Yeah. Now, next next one. Let me see. How long does it take to get your um to get to your job each day, right? Uh, ¿cuánto le lleva? ¿Cuánto tiempo les toma ir a su trabajo? Right? In this case, how long does it take plus there, right? Asking about the amount of time needed to do something, right? Cuando usamos how long does it take, estamos hablando de cuánto tiempo les toma a ustedes hacer algo. So, for example, in this case, how long does it take to get to your job each day? It takes an hour. It takes 20 minutes. It takes five minutes, right? So, let me see. Juan Alfonso, ya no se escucha, Juan Alfonso. Mm, quizás el micrófono lo tiene malo, Juan Alfonso, ¿verdad? Ok, eh, so, Silvia. Hello, Silvia. Help me, please. Uh, Hello, teacher. How long does it take to cook dinner, Silvia? How long does it take to cook dinner? Uh, I, I take, it takes. I take, it, it, it takes. Mm. It takes a lot of time. A lot of time, okay. Espe <laughs> Silvia, especialmente si va a ser el pavo para fin de año, ¿verdad? <laughs> It yes, takes teacher. a lot of time, right? Sí, yes. ¿Sí va a preparar el pavito, Silvia? ¿Sí va a preparar el turkey? <laughs> uh, yes, oh, chompi okay. pollo. Chompi pollo, mmm, delicious. <laughs> okay, good, now let's continue. Eh, Rolando, how long does it take to... To practice English, Rolando. It take uh, one hour. One hour, okay. That's one enough. hour. That's one enough. hour. That's enough, right? Este, hoy no les envié un video porque tu, no sé tenía algunos problemas con mi internet. No sé qué pasó. Pero sí, la otra semana les voy a seguir enviando videos para que sigan practicando, ¿ok? Por cierto, hoy les iba a enviar uno bien bonito de, de cartoons, pero no pude, lo siento. Ok, now let's sure. continue. Yes, yes. Y, la, y la, la presentación siempre la va a estar enviando. Eh, si quieren que les envíe esta, yo se las envío. La de ayer porque era muy sencilla, casi no tenía nada. Sí. No, casi no. Esta sí. Esta tiene un montón de ejemplos con how, con how ¿verdad? Entonces, si quieren, se las envío, Rolando. Sí. Okay, please, please. Solo que eh, tengo una clase después y después de la a las 10 y 20, algo así, se las enviaría, ¿sí? De todas maneras, yo voy a mandar las capturas por si alguien de los compañeros okay. la está. Ok, good, no problem. Eh, por ahí nos manda saludos Juan Alfonso, ¿verdad? Pero él está atento, trabajando, pero está atento a la clase. Congratulations, congratulations, Juan Alfonso. Ok, so let's continue. How long does it take to speak English like a native speaker? Ooh, that's difficult, right? Uh, I don't speak like a native speaker and I have been studying for a long time, but here we have some examples, right? It takes years. Yes, it's true. It takes a lifetime. Yes, it's totally true, right? Toma toda la vida. 
It takes many months. Okay. So, uh, Abel, how long does it take to understand a song in English, Abel? How long does it take to understand a song in English, Abel? Um... ¿Cuánto tiempo le lleva a entender una canción en inglés, eh, Abel? How long does it take to understand a song in English? Uh, it takes uh, two hours. Two hours. Okay, nice. Nice. Very good. Now, let's go to the next, next example, right? How much does it cost to buy a house in San Salvador? My goodness. It depends, right? It depends on the place. In the case of, for example, Rolando that lives in Colonia Escalón. So it's very nice. <laughs> and, and the teacher, Not. In the teacher that lives in, in Colonia Sacamil, right? An apartment. <laughs> it's not very... Puro. <laughs> Puro plan de rendero. Oh, oh, excuse me, planet de rendero, come on, excuse me. O sea, no? Okay. Relax. So how much does this cost? Los ver asking about the amount of money, cantidad de dinero, right? Needed to buy something. So it costs half a million dollars, right? How much does it cost to buy a house in planet de renderos? It costs half a million dollars. <laughs> Okay, a house in, in Colonia Escalón, for example, it costs $400,000, right? It costs an arm and a leg, right? Uh, it's like you say in Spanish, cuesta un ojo de la cara. Es más, hoy en día nos vamos a morir pagando las casas y no, no, no las vamos a lograr pagar ni modo. Okay, that's the life in El Salvador, right? So, um, Adonai, where do you live, Adonai? I live in Merliot City. Merliot, oh, oh, it's a good neighbor, nice. So, how much does it cost to buy a house in Merliot, Adonai? It costs much money. A uh, lot of depend, money, right? A lot depend of money. Of, depend of the, the place in the Merliot place. City. Uh -huh. if it is, or, or if the house is big, right, or small. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes, yes. So it costs an arm and a leg, Adonai. Un ojo de la cara. Or... Yes, that yes, is I the <laughs> correct. But word. Adonai, no only in Merliot, everywhere in El Salvador, right? Everywhere. Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, Claudia Castro. Claudia, look, how much does it cost to go out to eat? In El Salvador, one, for one person is $10, right? For a family, $50. In your case, Claudia, how much does it cost to go out to eat? In your case, Claudia. Um, for, for two person, uh -huh. it costs about um, 30. 30 dollars, okay. If you go to Pizza, uh -huh. Pizza Hut or Pollo Campero, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Claudia. Now, look, the expression about and around means that it's not exactly, right? It could be $11 or it could, it could be $49, right? Depending. Okay. In my case, I have a lot of children, so it's, it's very expensive. So uh, I pay for five people for my family. <laughs> so every time... I like, I like to go to Buffalo Wings sometime, right? So, and, but not very often, not very often. <laughs> so, how much does it cost, right? Good. Now, next one. How many people? Look, in this case, we're talking about number, right? How many people? Sorry. Um, aquí no me deja ver la pantalla. Give me a second, please. Nos vamos a escapar un ratito de la presentación. How many people? Ah, yes. How many people do you know who can speak English? 
how many people do you know that can speak English? So you say how many, how plus many, much. Uh, and it's asking about a quantity of a noun, right? La cantidad de cosas en un nombre. It could be people, houses, shoes, pens, cats, dogs, etc., etc., right? The quantity of a money, right? I know Tom's. Tom's is conozco toneladas de gente un montón, right? How many people do you know that can speak English? I know around five. I know a few. Okay, unos cuantos. Notice that a few is not exactly, but you say unos cuantos. You use how many and you can use a few, right? But you cannot say how much, a few, no. Many is exclusive with numbers and with the expression a few, unos poquitos, right? Solo son nombres contables, right? Okay, now let me see. Um, Mai, hello Mai. Hello teacher. How many people do you know that can speak Italian? I know exactly. Mm, no, you can say I know a few. I know around five. I know around uh, four or five. I speak English. Uh, no, no, Italian, Italian. Uh, Italian. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, I, I know two. Two? Yes. Two people, okay? Yes. And the teacher, Javier? <laughs> okay, listen, listen. Uh, my, uh, Mayra, la ragazza, mangiare la pizza, eh, mangiare la pasta, mangiare el gelato, mangiare... Mangiare... <laughs> Eh, el gelato, el gelato en la piacha de la Novona, en la piacha de la Termine, en la piacha de la Trevi o en la fermata de la Termine. Capito? Ok. <laughs> so, how much people do you know? Now you know three people, right, Mai? <laughs> three, three people. I know three people. <laughs> no, no, I don't speak Italian. I know only some expression. <laughs> I'm kidding. Estoy bromeando. Ok, now. How much fun do you have each day? Ooh, how much fun? Cuánta diversión tienen cada día, right? How much fun? For example, in my case, I enjoy my classes. Sometimes I am a little tired, but happy, right? So I have fun every day. Also uh, with my family, I have a lot of fun, right? And so you can say I have a lot, I have a little, or I have a bit, poquitito, right? In your case, Josué, how much fun do you have each day, Josué? Josué Ernesto? Mr. Rosales? Hello, hello. Okay, so we're going to go to Rodrigo. Hi, Rodrigo. How much fun do you have each Hi, day? How much fun do you have each day, Rodrigo? <laughs> Um, I think that I have a lot. Uh, now, right now, you're having fun, right? I don't know. I don't know why, but so... I, I I never knew a uh, teacher like like you. Oh. It's very funny. It's okay. Thanks. No, Thanks. but listen, Rodrigo. Something is happening in your house, Rodrigo. <laughs> you will tell me later, right? That's why you're having okay. fun. Okay, okay, good. So uh, that's it. And notice that class we use many with count nouns and i use much with non count nouns understand many with count and much with non count okay and when you say a little you say un poquito right but with many you cannot say a little how many people a little no a little no a few right so a little is exclusive for much and a few is exclusive for many, right? Okie dokie. Let's go to the last one. Let me see. Yes. How much do you exercise? Okay. Now we're talking about the quantity of a verb, right? In this case, estamos hablando de la cantidad de un verbo. ¿Qué cantidad de ejercicio? 
o qué cantidad de, de comilonas se dan ustedes, ¿verdad? O cada, qué cantidad de, I don't know, eh, eh, de corridas dan en las mañanas, right? Etcétera, etcétera. Now, for example, how much do you exercise? I exercise a lot. I rarely exercise. I exercise three times a week. Now, in your case, eh, Hilda, how much do you exercise, Hilda? I don't know. Uh, I, no, I exercise three times a week. No, I exercise four times a week, teacher. Oh, it's a lot. Congratulations, Hilda. For a moment, I thought you would say, I exercise three times a year, but, but no, right? <laughs> no, a it's week. a week. Congratulations, you're a sport woman. A gym uh, three, uh, three times. You go to the gym three times. Oh. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, Sunday I practice uh, to running. Oh my goodness. It's my hobby. It's my hobby. It's a good hobby, Hilda. Congratulations. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, Claudia, Claudia Ramos, how much do you exercise, Claudia? I exercise two times a week. Oh, two times a week is something, right? Nice, very good. And Francisco, how much do you drink, Francisco? How much do you drink? Mm, I drink very little, teacher. You drink a little, right? A little, yes. Okay. Only every Friday, right? No, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> only case special. <laughs> only, only special cases. When the friends say, let's go, Francisco. <laughs> That's a special <laughs> case. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. Yes, thank you. Okay, so that is, that's it, right? I don't know if you have any extra question about how much, how much, how many, how long, how quickly, how far, So es, es qué tan lejos, qué tanto, cuántos, qué tan cerca, qué tan bueno, how, how good, for example, I can say, how, uh, I can say, for example, uh, how good are you playing basketball? Rolando, how good are you playing basketball? Sir? Ok, alguien me puso una flechita aquí. Ok. Ya vamos a investigar qué es el travieso. <risa> ok. Good. Good. Now, no, no, antes sí, eh, las primeras reuniones, ¿verdad? <risa> Sin querer manchaban aquí, pero no, todo está bien. So, uh, let me see, Rolando, how good are you playing basketball, Rolando? For example, right? how good? How good. Uh -huh. You say, I am good, I am bad, I am so-so. I am bad. Oh, sorry. Right. Good. Ne, no. Ne, never play basketball. You never play basketball. You. Okay. Only drinking. Eh. Drinking water, I mean. Drinking water. All, oh. Only Drink. football. Football. Only football. Okay, good. Yes. How about you, Silvia? How good are you cooking, Silvia? Yes, teacher. You're good? <laughs> You're good. You are You're good. good cooking. Ah, okay. You are good cooking. No, I am, say, I am, I am. I am ah. good. I Excellent. am good cooking. Yes. 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 A good chef, a good chef, right? Good. <laughs> yes, teacher. Mm. Any, any other questions, class? Now, let's go to the, let's go to the presentation, right? Let me see. Yes, we have a lot of time. We have a lot of time. Let me see. Okay. Let's go to the next exercise. Video. Question with how and short answers. So let's go and check the video, right? Pay attention, please. Short answers. How often? In this session, participants will watch and study questions with how and to give short answers. Hello everyone. We will go over four important questions we can ask in order to know frequency and okay. performance. Notice all questions begin with how. Pay attention. Questions with how. 
Short answers. How often do you work out? Every day. Twice a week. Not very often. How long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes a day. Two hours a week. About an hour on weekends. How well do you play tennis? Pretty well. About average. Not very well. How good are you at sports? Pretty good. Okay. Not so good. Okay. Now, please, repeat after me. Repeat after me. Uh, por ahí oigo como unos dos micrófonos encendidos. Si me hacen el favor. Yes, ready? Okay, here we go. How often do you work out? Repeat, please. How often do you work out? Every day. Twice a week. Not very often. How long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes a day. Two hours a week. About an hour on weekends. How well do you play tennis? Pretty well. About average. Not very well. How good are you at sports? Pretty good. Okay. Not so good. Now, we are going to do something special. Let me see. Um, let me see. Eh, Josue, you're going to make the question number one. How often do you work out? The first question, right? And Rodrigo, you answer, right? Ready? Okay. Ready. How often, do, how often do you work out? Every day. Ah, okay. Are you sure, Rodrigo, every day? No. I'm ah, a liar. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're lying, right? You're lying. <laughs> Listen, Rodrigo, having breakfast, having lunch, and having dinner, it doesn't come like workout, eh? <laughs> yeah. That is no workout. Huh? <laughs> okay, thank you. Now, uh, Abel, you make the question to Vicky. How long do you spend, right? How long? Okay. How long do you spend at the gym? Um, I don't know. Go to the gym. Oh, thank you, Vicky. You thank you because you're very honest. Thank you. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, Claud Claudia Ramos, you made the question: How well do you play, right? Uh, to Juan Alfonso. Ah, no, no, perdón, Juan Alfonso, no. Es que Juan Alfonso todavía creo que está en, tra está trabajando, no. Uh, Francisco Hill, right? Claudia to Francisco, please. Francisco, how well do you play tennis? Uh, really, I am not play tennis. Oh, okay. You don't play tennis. I'm sorry. Good. Now, Claudia Castro, you made the question to Rolando. How good are you at sport, right? How, how good are you at sport? Not so good. Oh, very honest. Very honest, right? <laughs> good. And now the last question, uh, Silvia Roxana, how often do you go to the beach, for example? How often do you go to the beach? I, I don't, I, I, I not go I to never, the beach. I never go to yes. the beach. Oh. Uh, once a um, year. Once a year, yes. yes. Oh, no, I know this year is, is special because we have problems with the coronavirus, right? Mm -hmm. Semana Santa. Holy Week. Holy Week, yes. Holy week. yes. Okay, good. Now, we're going to read some commentaries. Simena Yala, Morena Aguila, right? 
How often do you work out? I hardly ever. How well do you play tennis? Not so good, says Morena, right? Rosa Suyapa. Rosa. No se ha conectado Rosa ahora. Okay. Yes, ah, teacher, aquí ah, estoy. ¿Dónde está Rosa? Pero se acaba de conectar. ¿verdad? Se acaba sí, de conectar. es que estamos en cierre en mi trabajo, entonces ah, me acabo, acabo de, de terminar. Mire que, que bien, porque de usted estábamos hablando, Rosa. Ok, listen. How often do you go to English classes? An hour, three times a week. No, aquí le, fa le faltó, Rosa. Serían four times, porque de promedio tenemos cuatro horas, ¿verdad? A la semana. ¿eh? En la vida real. An hour, four times a week. Right? How good are you speaking English? No, come on, Rosa, you're good. You say not so good. No, you are good, Rosa. Excuse me. Thanks, teacher. Listen, what, what is your last name, Rosa? Suyapa. No, your last Ah, perdón, el apellido de Calderón. Ah, okay. And where do you live? In San Salvador. And what is your favorite food? In Mexican food. You see, you speak English, Rosa. Can you see? <laughs> huh? okay. And I can make more questions, right? For example, how do you say ácido de soxirribonucleico in English, right? Jesus of the garden. <laughs> It's deoxyribonucleic acid. <laughs> okay. Dios santo. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, now, and then we have, uh, no sé quién hizo este comentario, vamos a ver a quién. David Eduardo Villator. No, no está en nuestro grupo, David, creo, ¿verdad? Okay, only that. Now, let's go to the knowledge check, right? Listen, complete the following questions. Guide yourself with the answer, right? Uh, for example, at volleyball. So what are you going to do? You're going to use one of these questions. Listen. You're going to use one of these. Teacher. Uh-huh, yes. Eh, yo ten, he tenido problemas con la, de ese ejercicio con la número cuatro. Con la número cuatro. Ahorita la vamos a sí. ver. Va, pero van a contestar con how often, how long, how well, how good, right? Eh, vimos otras, right. vimos otras, pero eh, ahorita solo vamos a usar las de la plataforma, ¿ok? Now, so let's start. Uh, how, déjenme ver un segundito, este, un segundito nada más aquí, solo quiero verificar una cosa, porque... Quiero estar seguro de la respuesta que voy a dar en la cuatro. Uh -huh. Let me see. Uh -huh. Are you, do you, do you, can you, ok. Very good. Ya tengo, ya tengo ahí la, la idea que le voy a dar por el número cuatro. Ok. Good. Ok. Now, give me a second, give me a second. Ahorita, ahorita comparto. El que da y parte le toca la, ma la mayor parte. Así que vamos a compartir. Now, listen. Eh, so you're going to use a question with how, right? Todas llevan how. La pregunta es, how, how long, how far, how well, or how good. And then you can say, you can say the next. Listen, este es lo complicado, vean bien. Pueden decir, do you, are you, o pueden usar, can you. Again. How good are you? How good do you? Y how good can you? ¿Verdad? Aquí le voy a adelantar un poquito la respuesta. Dice good. ¿Sí? Entonces está hablando de, de que también. La pregunta es, ¿cuál van a usar? No me responda, es, es retórica la pregunta. Are you? Do you? O can you? 
¿Ok? Ahí se las dejo a ustedes. Ahí les dejo el problema a ustedes. ¿Ok? Next one, number two, right? Uh, spend online. Ah, about time. Nos está preguntando de tiempo. Entonces, ¿cuál lo usamos en el tiempo? Vamos a ver. How often? How long? Ah, ok. How long? Right? Now we go here. And then it says, how long? Right? Pero la respuesta puede ir. How long? Puede ser, do you? Are you? O well, can you, right? ¿Sí? Nada más, no me lo voy a poner nada más que esto, ¿ya? Yes? Ya le reduje las opciones al 35% aproximadamente. Ok, twice a month. Cuando me dice twice a month, ¿me está hablando de qué? Frequency. Frequency. Ahora ya no le voy a escribir nada, ¿verdad? Ustedes lo hacen solitos. Si hablo de frequency, ¿cuál de estos habla de frecuencia? How often, how long, how well, o how good. ¿Cuál de esos? Nos vamos acá y nuevamente en la 3 le escribimos eso, ¿verdad? How, how often, how long, how good, how far, etc. Y luego le ponemos el do you o can you o are you ¿Sí? Después del, del how. Y la cuatro. What, eh, how type. Type es escribir. Usar los deditos. Por ejemplo, eh, yo puedo usar los dedos. ¿verdad? Los, solo usamos la F y la J, que son las, las teclas claves. Y sin ver, ¿verdad? Sin ver. Vamos a cerrar los ojos. Y le voy a escribir algo, ¿ok? Hel Hello, everybody. Ahí está, sin ver, ¿verdad? Entonces, esto es type. Eso es type. Escribir sin ver, ¿verdad? Type. Entonces, aquí está hablando, miren. Well, aquí está la palabra, ¿ve? Clave, ¿ve? Not very well, dice. ¿eh? Entonces, ¿cuál sería la pregunta? No me contesten, no me contesten. Sería, how often, how good, how well, how long, ¿cuál sería? Y después de eso, el problema dos sería, can you, do you, o are you? Ahí está. Entonces, vamos a combinar estas cuatro. How often, how long, how well y how good. Las vamos a combinar con eh, are you, do you o can you, dependiendo de, de la situación. ¿Hay alguna pregunta? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh, please tell me. Uh, Rod I would Rodrigo. like, yeah, yeah, I would like uh, that you have to try and other space uh, type the answers because I have the same problem. If you and I think that is the same problem that she has. Okay, number four. I, yeah, yes, I talked about the okay. number four. Okay, uh, listen to. Yeah. Well, I will make a, an exception. I will make an exception, right, with you. With, the, with this class. Normally, I don't give the answer, but because this is causing you a lot of problems, I will type. Okay. I will type as far as I know, right? Okay. Because maybe there is a trick, because sometimes there are little tricks that make the answer good or bad. So in this case, if you say well, so I will use how well, right? How well. How well. How well. Because it's an ability, I said, can you? Can you. Wow, okay. Now let me see. 
Chan, 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 chan. It's taking time. It's taking time to tell me the answer, right? But only number four, eh? No more. <laughs> yeah, okay. the computer. No, uh, it's not answering. No, no me está dando la respuesta. No sé qué pasó. I think that the computer you're thinking about is if a teacher uh -huh. or is uh -huh. a... <laughs> because the, the computer knows that it's not a student. The, the computer is saying, no, este no es estudiante. No le voy a dar la respuesta. Well, I'm going to try once. Oh, okay, look. Yeah. Okay, it's correct, right. right? Yeah. Maybe Only sometimes, that. sometimes uh, if you put double space or uh, don't yeah. use a capital and the beginning. Like this, right? Double space? Yeah. yeah. Or maybe you use a lower case yeah like how yeah uh, maybe those are the the mistakes maybe i'm not sure but in, in my case in my case the problem was a uh, double space ah uh, it was double space good yeah but the, okay. the, this is the answer right now you can answer the other ones look <laughs> yes <laughs> okay don't expect Thank the you. teacher to answer right <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay good now to finish the class we're going to go to a reading quiz. <clears throat> it's about health and fitness, right? It's a quiz. Some questions to you, right? Now, let me see. Um, hmm. Here we are, right? Yeah. Now, health and fitness quiz. How healthy and fit, how healthy and fit uh, do you think you are? So you think you are good, right? Scheme. Scheme is when you go and, and go like uh, scheming, right? Looking for this, uh, the information very fast. Scheme the questions below. Then guess your health and fitness score from zero, very unhealthy, to 55, right? Now, your food and nutrition. How many meals do you have each day? So if you have four or five meals, so small meals, small meals, right? No, eh, el comelón del pupusa. No. no, it's four or five small meals. Because, I'm sorry, according to the ex experts, eh, it's better to take small meals and no big meals, right? And some people have two times the meal, right? Lunch and dinner, but they have a lot, right? Portions of fries like this, seven tortillas, one chicken, <laughs> okay? But no, the recommendable one is to have uh, four or five small meals, right? Like only one tortilla and quesito only, <laughs> okay? And that's it, right? No more. Small meal, right? Okay, and in this case, if you have this, it's five points, five points, right? Three meals, three. One or two meals? Zero, right? Because, I mean, you have to eat too, right? Tampoco es que hay que dejar de comer, right? Number two. How often do you eat at regular times during the day? Regular times. I mean, you, you have breakfast at 7. You have lunch at 1 o'clock. You have dinner at 7 p.m., right? So regular, exactly time. Because if you have breakfast sometimes at 7, sometimes at 10 a.m., that's a problem. Yes. So, regular time, right? Almost always five. Usually f three. Hardly ever zero point, right? How many serving of fruits? Like porciones, right? How many serving of fruit or vegetables do you eat each day? Five or more. It means like eh, una, una porción de lechuga, tres manzanas, un mango. <laughs> Okay, five or more, five points, right? One to four, three points. None. Si no estamos comiendo fruta y vegetales, puro don pollo, entonces estamos mal, ¿verdad? How much junk food, comida chatarra, do you eat? Very little, five. About average, three. A lot, solo cenan con pupusas y hamburguesas, zero, right? Do you take vitamins? Yes, every day, five. Sometimes three. And no vitamins, zero point, right? Now, which bed describes your exercise program? Both 
weight training and aerobic exercise. Tienen programas de entrenamiento de levantamiento de pesas y hacen aeróbicos. Five points. Either weight training or aerobic exercise. Hago eh, ejercicio de levantamiento y también aeróbico. O oh, aeróbico, right? Una de dos. Three. And non zero percent. How important is your fitness program to you? Very important. Medio importante, fairly important. Or not very important, right? Which bed describe your weight? ¿Cuál, ¿Qué es lo que describe más su peso? Six pounds. Seis libras. ¿eh? Eh, which, aquí sí no lo entiendo. Uh, dentro de las diez libras. Entiendo yo que es el sobrepeso, ¿verdad? Ok. Uh, ¿Se sobrepasan seis libras de su peso normal? De acuerdo a la estatura y a la edad. ¿Se pasan 10 libras o se pasan 12 libras o se pasan 30 libras? De más? Ahí hay que afligirse, ¿verdad? Y por último, how often do you get a physical exam? ¿Con qué frecuencia se hace un examen físico? Y how often do you sleep well? ¿Con cuánta frecuencia usted duerme bien? Por favor, tomen un, uh, una calificación y vean aquí ¿Qué, ¿Qué clase de salud están teniendo? ¿Ok? Good. Now, it's time to go, right? Do you have any extra question? No, teacher, for this moment. No questions. ¿Ok? No. No, no teacher. No, Th teacher. Thank you very much. See you on Monday. And don't forget to work in the platform, right? No se le olvide trabajar en la plataforma, en la plataforma. please. Ok. Ok, teacher. See you. Cualquier cosa ahí estoy okay, en, en el WhatsApp. Bye bye. Thank you. Teacher. Blessings. Bye. 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 bye.